we've gotten our hands on some interesting leaks on what we might see in a future build in Star Citizen. In addition to this, we're going to look into some updates pertaining to the Star Citizen Alpha 3.19 build. All right, so the first thing we're going to cover is um, the Pipeline Discord channel have found maybe some files in the um, or some speculations or um, some actual um, content in the game files. It's pertaining to some new pods that we might see in the PU. So the first one that they seem to have found is the Argo or pod, which is going to have a capacity of 12 SCU. And the description for it is featuring a simple yet sturdy construction that uh, ensures the easy flow of material into and out of container. And the Argo pod is an industry standard designed to work with any compatible mining ship. Another one is the MISC ore pod, which is a capacity of 8 SCU. And um, it says made to work with any compatible mining ship MISC ore pod boasts several unique features including anti-abrasion paint inside the pod that ensures it can withstand hefty payloads for years to come so what i get from this is number one either we're going to be getting a, a new mining ship very soon um reason being is the pods right the pods right now that work on the mole and the pods that work on the the prospector itself are smaller than 12 seu and 8 SCU. So these are larger pods. So it, there's got to be either maybe these pods are going to be the ones that's going to go in for the uh, Orion, but I think there's going to be a, a, sh a mining ship before the Orion that we'll see in the PU first. So maybe that's what these pods are for. Or these 12 SCU pods could possibly be attached to the prospector itself. Um, and it would just be like one pod on each side maybe i'm not sure how that's gonna work uh, so that's that's uh some of the ideas that i have you guys let me know in the comments on this specifically before we move forward i'd like the new people to know that we're doing a giveaway for the month of may this time is a game package for the 100i in order to participate all you gotta do is be subscribed and leave a comment in any video between the month of may let's move on with the rest of the video so in regards to the 319 there are um, some speculations um, pertaining to the economy itself and the commodity prices. So it says uh, with rumor that devs who have worked on Quanta have begun to move on in other directions. This might imply that its implementation is sooner than we expect. So for those that don't know, Quanta is going to be um, the simulator of the economy in the PU. So. It looks like we're going to be seeing a more of a dynamic economy uh, very soon since the devs are moving on to other um, parts of the project. So it looks like it might be ready, especially maybe um, it might be ready with uh, the build that's going to contain the Hall C, which is going to be 3.20. So we'll see if we get that, um, but these are just strictly speculations. In regards to the 319 build, it says good news everyone, hopefully in the next update for 319 you will be able to store and hold the mining sub items in your hands, meaning you can now comfortably store them in your inventory, pull them out and attach them afterwards using your tractor beam to the mining head. Additionally, the mining sub items are now prepared to also spawn in loot crates, oh that's cool. Uh, meaning in the future you might be able to find those in there so that's that's awesome to be able to actually loot them as well because if it, in the future i think it's it's starting 319 um if if you lose your ship your ship gets destroyed you lose your components everything restores back to default so it'll be cool that you, you can at least loot um the sub components and other things as well um, some other news, it says no new publish to PTU today. We're getting everything we can ready for the possible PTU build tomorrow. We are however going to turn on Fleet Week and Expo Halls and all the stuff here shortly on the PTU. You guys already know what to do. Leave a like, subscribe. I'll see you on our next video.